Eat the one, Sammy here on a rainy, rainy Thursday night, drizzly Thursday night, on my brand new Galaxy S10 5G phone. I'm loving it. It's a my brand new toy. I'm absolutely loving playing with this thing. I got it all set up, all taken care of. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about um, what it is to live like a Korean. So what I mean is, like, all of the things that you can do as a Korean that you can't do if you're a foreigner. So, like, for example, I, I had a phone, but it wasn't under my name because when I first got a phone, I was on a visa, on a very restrictive visa. So what that means is that it's only a one-year visa. So uh, you can't get a deal from anybody because you're, you're going to leave in a year. So they don't give you good deals at the, at the, the phone companies. They don't give you a good deal. Um, and I wanted to get like, you know, the newest phone and like I think that the first phone I got was either the S or the Note 1. I can't really remember. It was about eight years ago. So my good friend and business current business partner said, well, I'll get you the phone under my name. You just use it and pay the bill. And I said, sure, I'll do that. No problem. So that's what I did. And I had that number for eight years and never really needed to use the online systems that they have in Korea, which I'll talk about in a minute. But then what happened recently is that because of my business and because of the way the system works here, the, the, it's called the real name law. Everything that you do, log in and register, has to be real name and it's attached to your phone number. Now the problem was I was trying to apply for this special uh, train ticket that gives you a discount when you buy in bulk uh, because I'm traveling a lot around South Korea. So KTX, which is the bullet train. I'm trying to get the end pass, but the problem was is the phone that I had was not under my name. So if they would check, I don't have not my name it's not my partner's name so I'm not allowed to use that discount and it's a pretty decent discount 30 to 50 percent and I'll tell you like going to Busan is like you know 80,000 won like about 80 bucks that's expensive if I can cut that in half and that's just one way <laughs> so if I can cut that in half I mean that's a good deal so that's why I had to change phone number now the other thing was is that you can't port numbers from one person to another. I could if it was my number, but it wasn't my number, so I couldn't. You can do it within the family, but you can't do it to somebody else, so I have to lose the number. So, I never wanted to do that, like that's why I never changed my phone number, because I didn't really need it, but now I have to have it. I have to have this under my name. So I got it under my name, and then lo and behold, uh, my friend sits me down and sets me up with like the Samsung Pay, puts my credit card on there, puts my T-Money, which is the uh, 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 subway card on there, and I can actually recharge my card through my phone, through my bank account. And it's like, I'm like, wow! And I can actually use Samsung Pay to pay for things. So like tap and go, I just tap and go my phone. Now it is secure because I've used a fingerprint. Uh, you can't, I have to, you know, put my fingerprint, then it pays. But I've never lost my phone. I've lost my phone once, six years ago, but I've never lost my phone, really. And I have a system on there, it's called Lookout. It's an app that will, uh, I can just go onto my computer and lock my phone and wipe it. I can actually find where it is. I'm surprised at how many people don't. First thing you do is put on a tracking software on your phone. iPhone users never do that. I say, where's your phone? Oh, I don't know. Can't you track it? No, I never installed the app. I'm like, I mean, it comes standard on Android. I don't understand. Anyway, go figure. So anyway, um, yeah, so uh, this is what I wanted to talk about today. So one of the things you can do if you have 
the right kind of visa. So a long-term visa, so like a permanent resident, or you're married, or you're a foreign. multi-layer uh, authentication. So uh, what happened is, is uh, they were using ActiveX and Internet Explorer and multi-level
I've been, I've been testing, everywhere I go I'm testing my speed, I'm using the speed test uh, app and the fastest I've had is 200 megabits per second, that's 2 gigabits per second, the average. liking and enjoying my videos um, I'm going to be uh, like I said I'm talking in in uh, negotiation with my friend to update uh, my channel and uh, I'm moving to a, a new channel and I'll be talking about that very very soon uh, we'll be signing the contract this week and, and rolling that out in the meantime please continue to watch continue to like continue to subscribe if you can really appreciate it. Ite Watsemi, living life out.